Hello, welcome to 21st Century Moses Channel. My name is Sammy Chu. Today is day 61 with a 70 days journey to the Bible. Guys, almost done. We have only nine more days to go. Yes, less than 10 days, so keep it up. Thank you so much for your support by watching this video. We have been going through the entire Bible, summarizing chapter by chapter. Now, this video is made possible by you all. But why are we doing this? We're here to spread the truth, the gospel of Christ Jesus, and to make disciples of all nations. Philippians 1.12 says, Now I want you to know, brethren, that my circumstances have turned out for the greater progress of the gospel. Paul wrote this when he was in prison, but even in his confinement in jail, the gospel was spread out even more. Now this verse amazes me. I would love to see that happen through this video as well. Even in this pandemic and social distancing that we are going through, the gospel can be spread out even more. So please like this video and subscribe. This helps for new viewers to search and easily find our content. Also share this video with your family, family members, and friends so you can help with making disciples, reproducing God's people all over the world. For better understanding and a maximum result, maximum user of today's video, please see the interactive study guide on the description section below. And also fill out your own answers on a separate sheet as you watch this video. Now get your pen, paper, and most importantly, your Bible. Are you ready for the journey? Let's go. In the last episode, we studied about Jesus as the truth, way, and the life. In this section, we're starting with the book of Acts, and it will talk about the church as the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. Let's start with Acts 1, chapter 1. As Jesus ascended to heaven, he gave the commission to witness about him from Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and all around the world, chapter 2. The Holy Spirit came upon the disciples, and they began to glorify God in different languages. Peter preached, and 3,000 people repented. They became the first church. Chapter 3. Peter healed the lame beggar. He shared the message of repentance. Chapter 4. As they did to Jesus, religious leaders persecuted the apostles. But Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit, and he continued to preach Jesus as the only Savior. Churches shared the gospel boldly and shared everything in common. Chapter 5 Apostles performed miracles as Jesus did. Some were arrested. Wherever they were, they preached that Jesus is Christ. They shared the gospel relentlessly. Chapter 6 Disciples increased in number, and they selected deacons to take care of administrative works as the apostles devoted themselves to the ministry of the word and prayer. Chapter 7. Stephen, one of the de deacons, preached, and he was stoned to death. Just like Jesus, he prayed for those who killed him. Chapter 8. Saul persecuted the church. Philip led the Ethiopian eunuch to Christ and immediately this eunuch was baptized. Chapter 9. Saul met Jesus on the way to Damascus. Jesus called him for preaching the gospel to the Gentiles. Chapter 10. Cornelius, a Gentile man, was visited by Peter. While Peter was preaching, the Holy Spirit came upon this Gentile family and they were baptized. 11. Peter reported that the Gentiles received Christ. The church in Antioch grew among Jewish and Greek believers. They were called Christians for the first time. Chapter 12. James, the brother of John, was martyred. Peter was in prison, but an angel rescued him. God's word continued to grow. 13. Barnabas and Saul were commissioned for missions. They shared the gospel in Cyprus. Saul was called Paul. 14. There were miracles testifying to the word of God but there were persecutions as well. 15. The council at Jerusalem had a discussion on circumcisions for Gentile believers. 
they decided not to trouble Gentile believers with circumcision, but let them abstain from things contaminated by idols. Chapter 16. Paul was in prison, but God delivered Paul and others in jail when he praised the Lord. Jailer tried to kill himself, but Paul led him and his family to Jesus. 17. Paul shared the gospel at the Jewish synagogue using the Bible, telling about Jesus Christ, even in front of idol worshippers. What is the main message about Jesus? Jesus is lived out through his dis disciples. The Holy Spirit came upon the disciples. They made other disciples. They became the church and Jesus is lived out through the church because the church is the body of Christ. So how should we live? We're to live as the body of Christ, the hands and feet of Jesus. Did you notice that the disciples and apostles were doing similar things as Jesus did? What did Jesus do in the four Gospels? He taught about the kingdom of God and healed the sick. That's exactly what the disciples and apostles did as well. They did not stop there though. They multiplied the disciples to do the same. They re reproduce the church, the body of Christ, everywhere to do what Jesus did. So what does that mean? Church is more than a building for one-hour worship service on Sundays. As Christians are the body of Christ, we are to live out what Jesus did when he was on the earth. Now what does that look like? As Jesus taught, we are to teach and proclaim the kingdom of God continually. As Jesus served and healed the sick, we are to go where suffering oppresses people and heal them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ministering to them in Jesus' name should be our priority. We normally want to spend our time watching favorite TV, TV shows to entertain ourselves. However, we need to remember that there are people who are suffering without knowing Christ Jesus. What would be the best way to minister to them? We can start by praying for them. Take your phone out now and go through the list of your friends and family members who do not know Jesus Christ. Well, there may be someone you know who is sick or suffering right now. You can pray for him or her that the Lord will heal in his mighty power. Then you can call the person that you can pray over the phone. There are always ways you can reach out to the needy as his hands and feet. So what do you think? Please share your points of applications with us as well. Did you fill out the blanks in today's study guide? Answer keys for today's session will be in the next video. So please check it out. The answers from the last videos are Eternal, life, living, truth, believed, sheep, resurrection, beliefs, disciples, peace, branches, truth, God, Peter, Jews, belief, sheep. Thank you for finishing watching this video. This is just the summary of the chapter, so please, please read the actual Bible and read 17 chapters aside for today. After you read today's portion, find the 70 days reading log in the description section below and put your unique icon or emoji in the day 61 box. Also, if you have any questions, prayer requests, or thoughts to share after re reading today's portion or watching this video, please send them to our direct messages or in the comment section below here. In the next video, we'll look at how powerful the gospel of Christ Jesus is. This means so much to me, and I hope it does to you. So don't miss it. Thank you so much again, and see you tomorrow for the next amazing 17 chapters.